Working is easy, but working hard on a regular basis is challenging. But remember that nothing is impossible and you can do this. And this video, I'm going to help you out to crack your knee PG to make your dream come true. Hello friends, this is Dr. Sangeeta and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way. And this video is a little effort to help you prepare for your NEET PG exam. Subscribe and join me in your beautiful challenging journey to crack NEET PG. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to another NEET series. This video we are going to talk about benign and malignant tumor. So this is the part one of benign and malignant tumor and this video we are just going to talk about two things. One is the most common diseases, the most common malignancy. So we have got a lot of most commonly asked question of the most common. And then we will also talk about the TNM staging. How do we solve this TNM staging, right? So the most common malignancy, first of all, is the most commonly asked question, most common malignancy. So most common malignancy in females. So when you have to remember this most common, so just uh, close your eyes and think that most common malignancy in female can be related to any of the reproductive part. So that is the breast cancer. So female is the breast cancer, right? Next, next question is the most common malignancy in females. I now I told you breast cancer. Second most common is, the first one is the breast cancer. Next one is the lung cancer because nowadays even females smoke a lot. Right? So that is the second one is the, second most common is the lung cancer. This is worldwide. If we talk about particularly in India, then most common malignancy or in the females in India is again, the breast cancer second most common then uterine cervix cancer so that is the cervical cancer so cervical cancer is the in the female second most common so most common if you have to remember malignancy in the female it is the breast cancer next question is the most common malignancy in males now males when you think of males then males is uh, either it can be two things one is the reproductive another one can be the smoking so what is related to the smoking so which is the again in the males it is the lung cancer the most common is the, in the males is the lung cancer so this is in general most common malignancy in the males if they ask most common malignancy in the males in india then again related to smoking so that is our oral cancer so the because they are smoking so they are more prone to the oral cancer so in india if we talk about then it is going to be the oral cancer next most common see the most common carcinoma oral cancer most common carcinoma of the oral cavity or i can say most common oral cancer is always scc remember this most common oral cancer is always scc but if we are talking about the skin cancer because we know that in the uh, skin we have the bcc because uh, of the actinic radiation and all we get the skin cancer so right so that is the bcc if we are talking about skin cancer most common then again it is going to be the BCC. Next, second most common skin is SCC. But most common of the cancer of the oral cavity is the SCC, squamous cell carcinoma. Then most common malignant tumor of the bone, then it is going to be of the C. There, there is a bone, we have got a lot of things. So just we will go slowly. So most common malignancy, uh, malignant tumor of the bone, right? So of the bone in India, if we are talking about, then it is going to be osteosarcoma. If, this, uh, if we are talking about most common malignant tumor of bone in the children, then it is going to be again osteo. See, malignant tumor of bone is, if you have to remember the malignancies, then the easiest way to remember is that when you get the, in the end oma, see, when you get in the end oma, that means it is going to be a benign tumor. If you get in the end sarcoma or carcinoma, right? When you get in the end sarcoma, like I have talked about right now, osteosarcoma. So when you get sarcoma or when you get carcinoma, 
that means that is a malignant carcinoma that means that is a malignant tumor so remember this see this is not applied to every case but mostly it is applied mostly malignant i are either sarcoma or either carcinoma and sarcomas will be uh, mostly in the younger age so mostly of the connective tissue carcinoma are mostly of the epithelium and are of the elder age group so if we are talking about omas right so fibroma that means the fibrous tissue chondroma that means we are talking about benign right so oma means if oma is in, in the end that means it is a benign tumor so if it is fibroma then it is a, a benign tumor of the fibrous tissue if it is chondroma then it is a benign tumor of cartilaginous tissue if it is adenoma that means we are talking about benign tumor of glands malignant we will have sarcomas or carcinomas in the end see you don't look at the oma if you only see the oma then you will tell that sarcoma also ma'am oma is there then sarcoma must be benign no you have to look at the bigger picture and when once you see that if there is sarcoma or carcinoma present then most of the time it is the malignant tumor so this is an easiest way for you to remember the malignancy the difference between benign and malignancy so the most common benign tumor of bone is osteochondroma as the name suggest then it is a benign tumor so this is a most common benign bone tumor osteo means bone tumor right if we, if i if i ask you that most common primary malignant bone tumor then it is the multiple myeloma so we are if if we are talking about the primary malignant see if there is primary malignant then it is multiple myeloma right so remember this if you write this you can just remember this primary malignant tumor of the bone so primary malignant that will be multiple myeloma so if i am talking if i am asking you that common malignant bone tumor then it is osteosarcoma i told you no we have to write sarcoma so osteosarcoma is the uh, most common malignant bone tumor also in the india and also in the children but in the children we also have evig sarcoma so evig sarcoma is the second most common if if i am asking you or if someone is asking you that most common malignant tumor uh, of bone in the children then it is osteosarcoma definitely the first one second one is going to be the evig sarcoma so that that is the second most common then i think we are finished with the uh, Um, most common oral cancer scc then uh, most deadly of all neoplasm is the malignant melanoma so malignant melanoma is a uh, uh, very deadly and we have also read the stages second part of the video we are going to talk about all of the tumors benign and malignant tumor and um, in detail we are going to talk about like uh, we'll just touch all of the tumors then we have leukemia so or leukemia we have to remember only two things most common leukemia in the children most common leukemia in the elder so most common leukemia in the children is ll so remember ll all most common leukemia in the children is all most common leukemia in the elder is cln okay so very easy then we have uh, the most common salivary gland tumor that we always know that most common salivary gland tumor um, of parotid gland which is the pleomorphic adenoma so always the first one we read is the most important right the most common like uh, we read ameloblastoma like we read in the chapter in the salivary gland chapter we have read the pleomorphic adenoma so most common salivary gland tumor is also pleomorphic adenoma of parotid gland if i ask that also pleomorphic adenoma second most common salivary gland if i ask you that is the warthin tumor so these are the most common tumors next comes to the tnm staging so coming to the tnm staging to save your time i have just written it so coming to the tnm staging we tnm staging is we clinically assess the stage of the tumor what stage is the tumor at so t represent the primary tumor n represent the lymph node m represent the metastasis so x is going to be when tumor cannot be assessed zero is going to be when there is no primary tumor though no uh, no malignant malignancy of lymph node and no distinct metastasis that's it so n zero is when clinically lymph node are palpable but uh, there are no there is no metastasis so coming to ist ist is carcinoma in c2 so one is when it is less than 2 two it is when it is greater than 2 but 
less than 4. 3 it is when it is greater than 4 and 4 it is when it, it is invading. Tumor is invading into the adjacent structures like orbit, tongue and all these structures. Next come uh, sinus. Then next comes the N. N is the lymph node. So N0 is when there is a clinically palpable lymph nodes. Right. But there is no metastasis. The metastasis is not suspected. Next comes the N1. So N1 is when there is single ipsilateral metastasis of single ipsilateral lymph node less than 3 cm or equal to 3 cm. N2A is when the lymph node is a single ipsilateral lymph node and it is greater than 3 cm but less than 6 cm. N2B is when the multiple ipsilateral lymph node is there but it is less than 6 cm. N2C is when the metastasis is bilateral or contralateral lymph node but it is less than again 6 cm. N3 is when there is uh, metastasis in the lymph node more than 6 cm in dimension. Next comes the M which is the distance metastasis. X is when distance metastasis cannot be assessed. M0 is when there is no distance metastasis. M1 is the clinically or radiographically evidence of metastasis. Now we will be talking about the clinical stages. Now this from here uh, it's the important thing starts. So 0 is see I cannot write everything 0. N0, M0 I can write. Why Why not T, B, T also why can, I cannot write 0? Because then there will be no tumor, right? So 0 is when there is carcinoma in C2, right? So that is TIS. Next comes the stage 1. Stage 1, just T will be 1, N0, M0. Stage 2, T will be 2, N0, M0. So this is easy. Stage 1, stage 2 uh, is very easy. Next comes the stage 3. Stage 3, we are going to talk about 4 uh, scenarios, right? So I will be, I'll be starting with T1. And I'll be ending with T3. So T1, T2, T3. Again, I'll write T3. Then I'll be starting with N1 and I will end with 0. So N1, then again N1, then again N1. And now I'm going to write 0. Then comes M. M will be 0 for stage 3. M will be again 0 for 2 stages up to 2 stages of 4. M only will be 1 at the last stage of 4. Otherwise, M is going to be 0 for every case. Easy. Next comes the T. So, stage 4 we are talking about T4 here. N either it is going to be 1 or it is going to be 0. Right. So, N either it is going to be 0 or it is going to be 1. Now, here uh, N is going to be either 2 or either 3. Next is going to be NET right so NET and then NEN because M here is 1 so this is the easiest way that uh, I can or if you have your own way you can also comment in the comment section so that others can also learn so stage 4 is when there is T4 N0 or N1 M0 T NET but N is going to be 2 or either 3 but M0 and then NET, NEN and M1. M1, see if there says, if it says that there is clinically or radiographic evidence of metastasis, then blindly go for stage 4 because stage 4 is the only stage wherein M is 1, right? So that is the only stage. So if the question comes, so uh, suppose if the question comes that they are telling that tumor size is more than 2 cm, and there is single ipsilateral lymph node more than 3 cm, right? So what will we do? And there is no distance metastasis. Then we have to close our eyes and think about it. Or now here you can look and then tell also. So tumor size when it is, uh, suppose tumor size when it is more than 2 cm, right? So it is going to be more than 2 cm. That means it is T2. When the two, when it is saying that the metastasis is single ipsilateral, but it is more than two cent, uh, more than three centimeter, that means we will go for N two A, right? So that is the N two. Next is it tells that there is no distance metastasis, that means M zero. So that is going to be our T two, N two, and M zero. Then we have to see that where it falls. So this is. T2, N2 and M0. So that is our stage 4 in which NET, N2 and 3 and M is 0. See if N also comes 2 or 3, then also it is going to be stage 3 because up to up till stage 3 we have only N0 or either it is N1. 
right so if is there is any single ipsilateral lymph node metastasis which is less than 3 cm then we can think of up to then we can think of the stage 3 but if it is a uh, more than if this is more than 3 cm then it will be again going we will, will go for stage 4 so this is very easy if like if you understand this that see up to stage 3 stage 3 is only n1 right if it is more than n2 if we are going n2 or more than n2 if we are going for n2 or n3 then also will be stage 4 if it is m1 then also will be stage 4 so you just have to understand this that if there is single ipsilateral lymph node metastasis less than 3 cm then it can be stage 3 but we have to look for other options also. But if it is N2 either or N3 then blindly we can go for stage 4. If it is M1 then blindly also we can go for stage 4. So this is how uh, one more situation let's see just if it says that there is metastasis in the multiple ipsilateral lymph node less than 6 cm right. So, which stage will it belong to? So, it will belong to, if it is asking that it is multi, uh, multiple ipsilateral and less than 6 cm. Then means, that means it is multiple ipsilateral less than 6 cm. That means it is N2B. So, like that it can ask either question from, uh, either question from any of this or it can either ask from question from the stages, right? So this is about TNM staging. I hope that you have enjoyed. Next video we are going to talk about the tumors one by one. So if you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also you can comment in the comment section below. There is also a link in the description box below to support me on Paytm as well as on PayPal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes. So till then keep reading, keep learning, stay motivated. I'll see you soon in the next video.